Hi guys, this is Juven Grill from Tekken5.com and today we're actually having a quick look at the new Skype for Windows Phone beta version that just got released onto the Windows Phone marketplace a couple days ago. So without much further, let's get to it. Okay, so we just swipe on down to Skype and there it is. Now we'll provide a link in the marketplace when it starts up, when um, this video is up. So let's watch startup. Has a nice little startup intro video. Now this is version 0.2, so it is actually quite a bit of a beta version. And uh, let's see. So so far it's quite simple. So let's quickly go into settings and have a quick look at what you get. So you get the. Let's have a bit of a zoom in. There. So the only options you get right now is the auto sign in. So it'll sign in as soon as you open up Skype and just the about version as you see it's beta version 0.2 Skype has said that uh, there might be a lot of uh, you know problems with it right now but so far as we've seen for a beta version it's quite good uh, what you can see here is you get two sorts of tabs which is recent and contacts basically so your contacts is all the people you're on you know you have in your contacts and the recent are the people you have either called or had a chat with so let's open up this one over here. So uh, as you can see, I had a earlier I had a call, um, had a nice 42 second call here, and it was a really quick and easy version. So all you have to do is open this up, click call. We'll give you two options: whether to call the phone or just call Skype. Uh, obviously, I chose call Skype. Uh, can't test it out right now, but uh, maybe we can try and get you a demo version. Now as I am using a Samsung Omnia 7 there is no front facing camera so I couldn't exactly do a two way video chat but the beauty is you can see the other person video chatting with you which is quite good. Quality is decent right now it really does need to be improved in the future but uh, as far as things go they're quite good. Uh, only other problems being here is that you can't see your contact list of people who are online right now just your total contact list uh, it's exactly how it's done in, I would say, Skype, in that uh, the names pop up exactly. The pictures uh, pop up for some of them as well. People who have put up pictures or, I don't know, have activated different ways. Uh, but as far as things go right now, no pictures. When you go up into a contact, let's go into this one. When you go up into a contact, you actually can't see uh, the person's picture here, which would be, I was hoping it would be nice, but once you go over here, it comes up nicely. Uh, so that's all you can see. Uh, let me have a quick look over here. Yeah. So you'll get the picture name over there. Let me just focus up a little bit. So picture name, a picture will come up over here on the top. The details will come over here. Um, as far as things go, it is, like I said, quite a good version for you know a beta version uh, I am hoping that when the final version comes out uh, that there will be a lot more fixes a lot more options a lot of different a lot of different uh, things you can do with it in the future obviously Skype for Windows Phone is just an app right now uh, it is meant to be inbuilt in future versions either Tango or most probably Windows Phone 8 so we'll have to wait till then but for now Skype for Windows Phone, you can grab it, it works, uh, it works pretty well for a beta version and it's free. So just head on down to the description below or to Tekken5.com to check out the app for yourself. Thanks for watching, I'm Jim Grill from Tekken5.